When I started doing electrical, my wiring was messy. I wish somebody would have shown me then what I know now about cutting in wires into a box. So I'm going to show you my method that I use to get it looking nice every time. So I've got three wires coming into the switch box here. I don't know if you can see all three of them, but three wires, two coming in from the top, one coming in from the bottom. First thing I want to do is I'm going to staple my wires. Now that I've got my wires stapled, coming down right to the box here, I'm going to show you how I cut them in to get them looking nice every time. So, the wires coming in from the top, I'm going to go over the box, past the box, and around the bottom, and right where the edge of the box is, I'm going to begin stripping my wires here. Then I'm going to take my wire coming in from the bottom and go over the box and basically just place my thumb at the edge of the box right here and strip it from that point. Then you can use a screwdriver or some other tool to open up these tabs on top but what I like to do is just take my impact. When I'm doing rough in, I like to use a six inch bit here. It's a number two square Robertson bit. And I just use this to insert it into the holes and just open up these tabs. So two in the top, one on the bottom. Then I'm going to take these wires and you can either go like this and insert it or my method that I like more is I basically kind of coil the wire backwards, kind of just flip it over itself like this. I'm holding the wire towards me and just kind of roll it backwards. It'll make a nice loop. Same with my bottom one. Basically pointing towards me and just kind of loop it backwards. And then you're going to have these what we like to call service loops so that if ever these wires get cut during the drywall stage or something you have extra wire here that you can kind of loosen up the screw and pull them in if you need to and they're going to be nice and even over here the bottom one they're not too long it's a perfect length now inside the box it's a little bit difficult to work with this while i'm trying to film it at the same time but i'll try to do it so I want some of that white insulation a little bit deeper in the box there and I'll just tighten up this screw. Not super tight but snug so the wire doesn't move. Same thing on the bottom one. I don't want it like this because once I tighten it up the tab can dig into the wires so I'm gonna make sure you can see a little bit of white insulation showing and that's what I want tightened up on the tab. Then basically I take my bonding wires, the bare one here. I'm going to put it under that screw, tighten it up. I only have one wire on the left side of this box, but I've got two on the right side of the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bonding wire on one side of the screw. And I'm going to take the second one and put it on the other side of the screw. So I just kind of put my bit in here and just kind of bend this wire and kind of guide it into place. Then tighten it up and you got both of them in there. Now because this is a switch I don't need these bonding wires on my switch. I'm going to cut these off. And then what I'm going to do is take all of my whites here, take my neutrals, put them all together. So these three wires, this is basically a power coming in, a power going out, and one is a switch leg, which is the power going 
when the switch is turned on, it takes that power up to the light. So this one here is notched. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a notch on here to indicate my switch leg. So this one's gonna go to one screw of my switch. And these two powers, the power in, power out, is gonna go to the other screw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist these together. I'm gonna twist these together, my neutrals. So these ones can be spliced together, all three of them. Strip them maybe a half inch or so. I'm gonna put a pigtail on these because I don't want two power wires on one screw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pigtail them, strip them, strip one more loose piece of wire, and splice them together. We're gonna put a wire nut on these. We're gonna put a wire nut on the neutrals. And when I fold them into the box, I kinda of wanna loop them also. I'll just kind of push this one forward into the box, push it in from this side so it kinda of loops into there. And this most likely will never be needed to be pulled out again. Take the power wires, loop them into there too. So this pigtail that I left, this is going to go to one screw of my switch and my switch leg, which brings the power to my light. I'll cut it shorter so it's not too long. I like to cut them around six inches, sticking out of the box, approximately six inches. So I'm going to fold this one in and I'm going to fold the power wire in. And then I try to push them closer to the back of the box so there's less chance of uh, a drywall or you know routing them out or something cutting them off and there you have it